All right, yeah. Eh, na 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 school. So we're on record, <coughs> and this is something that you can. I I started already. Well, <coughs> yeah. Eh, this is 2018-2019, lesson one. Uh, the name of it, Atenaj. Go backwards. J, J, you say to yourself, J, and then say, Naj, Naj. Notice those little marks above the A's and the I. It means to go up. That's all it means, just go up. So it's Naj. No, I didn't. just think in terms of I gotta yell it to somebody across the canyon. No, no, and then at the see the a d e e says de no, de no. Notice the difference. De no, see. Well, there's three sounds. De no, one sound de. De, or you're doing is stretching the uh, the e, de, and then we stretch the a, but we go high, de, de, na, j, de, na, j. When it's one one letter, just say it real fast, okay? J. All right. And the last sound that we learn is ah, ah, de, na, j. All that whole word means opposite. Well, opposite. We're going to teach you. We're going to learn opposites today, and opposites are things like black, white, or hot, cold, or daylight, sun, day, daylight, and and nighttime. So these are opposites. Yeah. And let's do let's do it this way. Let's do it with an activity. Number one activity uh, we call level one entry, the vocabulary that we're going to learn. Okay. Uh, right now, you might be sitting next to a person, uh, so you're going to be doing a little bit of the, uh, uh, when we do the activity, we'll, we'll tell you how to get started. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a vocabulary word right here, and I'm going to say the word Badenaja. Uh The reason why I say, instead of saying Adenaja, ah refers to just a general something like a mother or a father but we don't want to say a mother or a father we want to say my mother or your mother or his mother when it comes to his or hers we say be and even in this little sentence we say be be all right it means that object okay we're talking about somebody not me not you something or somebody and all those refer to be. I always had problem in English. English, I always say, uh, you, we, let's see, she is going to town. When I mean he, I supposed to say he, but I'm always saying she. And in the Lagano world, they kept saying, no, no, that's not how you say, uh, you're supposed to say he, he went to town. And I kept saying she went to town. I, because this is, this is the reason why right here, be. That's all I know. One word for he, she, it, <laughs> he, she, it, or her, you know. And, and so I, I didn't have two words for like his and hers. I, I didn't have that in my, in my world when I came to school. So be covers he, she, it. Okay. In this, the first vocabulary word is uh, a ball. One's big and one's small. Okay. Green ball, small green ball. And, and, but we're going to learn the opposite, not the word ball, but the word big and little. So those are opposite. So if I, if I say Nitsa, what are here? Nitsa, that means big. Nitsa, Nitsa. And then the other word is Achise, Achise. Let's go backwards on that. Say the word Sa, Sa. The T S go together. Like it's like that air that comes out of your bicycle tire. That's how you say it. The T S is how you write it. But the A sounds like ah, 
second father. Ah, but we stretch it. Ah, so it's sa, sa. Okay, I should do the opposite. Sa, right? Sa, and then we just put ne. See, big nitsa. It is big nitsa. So it's a description. It is big nitsa, nitsa. So you, whatever is big, you just say nitsa. If a person's big, you say nitsa. If it's a big rock, you say nitsa. Okay, that is big. You can you can just point out things and say nitsa, nitsa, nitsa. People know what you mean. They'll say, oh yeah, that one is nitsa. Oh, nitsa. You know. Now let's go to the other one. This one is. Oh, the last word is se. Se. Remember how it goes up? It has those little mark above the eye. That means go up. Se. Se. And the next uh, the next sound is e. That 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 air air coming out of the tire. The the the, the other one was. But can you make that smaller? Okay, there's a little short spurt of air out of the tire. And then you have to go I, I, E, E. And we're just stretching that I sound, E. And then we say E, S, E, S. Okay, I made a mistake. So I'm, I'm going to change my mistake here. All you got to do is make those high, high marks. So I'm gonna go up. Ise. Ise. Say that. Ise to yourself. Next one. Ash. Say ash. Oh, there's a new symbol. Not in English. Uh, the way I say it is, I I close my mouth and I let the air jump out of my side of my mouth. And they call that the slash L. Or I call it the silent L. The voice L, the one that makes a sound, is the regular L. That's the that's what I call a voice L. But I don't want to I don't want a uh, L that makes a sound. I want one that makes just the air sound. There's no there's no sound but just the air. So A and the slash L is I. Ash, ash. And the next sound is ski, se. Okay, three sounds. Ash, ski, se. Ash, ski, se means tiny, small. Ash, ski, se. And I can point out things that are really small, a uh, little piece of something. Ash, ski, se. Ash, ski, se. All right. Compared to this one, over here in Sa, nitsa, ashise, ashise, this one, ashise, nitsa, nitsa. Okay, now let's put it into our word. Let's put it into our sentence here. Nitsa, uh, put that one in there first. Nitsa, the the opposite of big. Nitsa, the it is called. The opposite of big is called. That's what you're trying to say. Okay. Let me let me let me repeat it a couple of times. Again. The opposite of big is called small. Oh, I'm not searching for the perfect sound. Okay? I know that it takes a while to your ears. That's how you just keep listening, keep listening, keep listening. And your ears will finally understand the sound. Okay? I don't that it'll go to your head and I'll come out your mouth. 
I see, sir. But you have to train your ear first. Your ear has to learn it first. And then travels to your mouth. And it comes out in ta. So right now you might just say ta, ta. You know, it's not perfect. But you're attempting. Okay, that's all I want is attempt. But the pattern is what I want you to do perfect. And that's the pattern right there. Nitsa, Kadea Naja, Aisisa, Wulyeh. And the pattern goes like this. Wulyeh is a verb. That means it, it is. It is called. So uh, you can say this is called this. This is called that. This is called. So called can be anything. And not me or you, but something you're describing like a, a ball or like a, another person. Okay, well, yeah. So I can say that guy over there should che well, yeah. Okay. Or that animal over there must well, yeah. Okay. So you can use this last word on many different objects. Okay. But in, if for us, we're just learning it right here with opposites. And so all we're saying is, Nitsa, Bidayanaji, Aitisa, well, yeah. And one of our students, we told him, go home. Go home and ask if grandma understands the word Bidea Naja. And so one kid goes back home and, 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 they, and they say, um, Grandma, Nsa Bidea Naja Shankhati. Because we gave him a question, right? Now grandma's was the answer. Hola, is it? And she goes, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you mean. I don't know the word Vedanaja. Well, uh, the, we taught the child how to, what it means, right? Vedanaja. Grandma, Vedanaja. This is, you know that word. That's right in this word, Vedanaja. In the old days, they said, this, this horn is the opposite of this horn. And so we call it a denage, a denage. And that's how they got this word to mean. The opposite. There's opposite. There's two horns and they have opposite. They're opposite each other. And so ever since then, the word we use for opposite. And grandma said, ah, <laughs> I can't you come out. I said, you're right. And she finally said, Okay, so, and then you can go the opposite way. The opposite of a little is So we can pull it both ways, we can exchange it, it'll still mean the same thing. But when we do an activity, and when you get your partner, we want you to go through it. Well, let's just go to, through the vocabulary real quick. Adentin, uh, bedeanaja. Adentin means light. Bedeanaja means opposite. Chahesh, well, yeah. Adentin, uh, when I, I, I name one of my daughters, middle name of my daughter. Yeah, I did. My daughter's name is Lysandra. But I wanted her to shine like a person. Shine. And so in her middle name, I put I didn't deem. Lysandra, I didn't deem long. And that's, a, that's my that's my youngest daughter. So I use Adendin as, as part of a name. Okay, that means light. Adendin. I notice Din, and notice Nit. Adin ne So there's quite how many sounds? One, two, three, four. So Din. Nitin, Tinitin, Atinitin. So the emphasis is at the end. 
Let's go to this one. Yes. Yes. And the word is hashes. Hashes. There's that two sound. I'm going to guarantee you that when you learn the sound, you're never going to say the word smith the same. You'll always going to be saying uh, John Smith. <laughs> And you say, oh, I can't change anymore. That's because you learn that sound. So I might as well learn it. Yes. Hush, yes. Yes. Stay down. Don't go up. Yes. Hush, yes. And the last sound. Cha, yes. Cha, yes. Well, CH is together. That's just uh, a diphthong. Okay, so our our statement would be, um, I didn't think but they not Well, yeah, well, yeah. So I'm just putting, I'm just plugging it right into what we had at the top, right? I didn't think but they not Well, yeah. So there's a there's, those are four, four vocabularies. Now let's. Let's just use a shki. Don't worry about the k. Let's just use a shki and a ed. All right. So there's two sounds. Ki. Yeah. It's how, notice how that word today, some people's last name are ki. <laughs> That's how they got it. A shki. What's your name? A shki. See, our, our Navajo people didn't, didn't have names. They only had kinship terms. Oh, that's a shki. That's a shki. You know, uh, and so he, ash key, that's how they got the name key. Key, and then the next one, ash key. Notice the sh is just a sound together, ash key. So there's no, no, no weird sound in that one. Ash key means boy. Uh, K we'll learn later. At ed, so the word is ed. Notice there's t, t glottal. The regular sound is. That's an English sound, right? But that's the long sound of the word T. The short sound is T. t, t. The long is T. t. So the, here we're using the short sound by putting a little mark by it. T. Ed. T. Ed. Right? T. Ed. And the whole word is at Ed. At Ed. At Ed. Just listen, just listen and your ears will understand. Let's do Ashki. But naja at ed wolye. Vice versa. At ed but naja ashki wolye. Okay. Let's go to this one. This is up and down. So something that's going up is called Deko. 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 Deco, deco. All right, so go is understandable, but e i is a diphthong, right? Right, right there is a diphthong, e i. That means the e and the i go together, it makes a sound. Eh, eh, eh. Deco, deco. Okay, day. Like during the day, <laughs> deco, deco. But coming down opposite of that would be yago. Yago, 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 yago. So let's let's try our statement. They go, but they nod yago, will ya? The other way, yago, but they nod deco, will ya? That's what it's called, you know, uh, opposite of yago. It's called. Deco. Okay, deco. All right, so your ears heard that part. Let's go to a couple more, several more, and then we'll, we'll practice. Uh, here we go. Let's try long and short. Long, nez, 
Yeah, now you know where you got. Uh, if you know Calvin Nez, do you? It's a translation of the word long, okay? Nez, Nez. And the word long means ne nez. Ne nez. Two sounds. Ne nez. Ne nez. See, you can think about it as nez. When you think about these words, I want you to think in terms of pictures, okay? Pictures. Or whole language. You've been taught whole language. You don't have to take it you don't have to take it apart. You just see it as a whole. Nez, ne nez, ne nez. Just think of a long something. Ne nez. Short. I can see, sir. Ah, you know, there's something. That was the word for small. Well, we can use it for short, too. I see, sir, or I see, sir. Either way, I see, sir. So, short and small are basically the same. Okay? Let's go to, oh, let's try, try the sentence. Nanez, but then, Asisa Wolia. And vice versa. Asisa de Naja Nanez Wolia. Okay. Let's go to the next one. E ya. Ya, and the first one is Biya. Biya means under. There's a little butterfly, it's under the bird. Biya. So, Tsidi Biya Gi Kalogi. No, that's the word for. But you know, okay, we didn't, we're not worried about that. We'll worry more about biya underneath biya, and then the opposite of that is baka baka. Ah, another something coming up. So it doesn't have to be just ah uh, go forever, right? Ah, uh, you can cut it. You can go one and a half. Ka ka. A ka, that means on top. Ka, biya, biya. A ka, a ka. Let's say the statement. Biya, bide naje e, a ka, wuliya. Vice versa. A ka, bide naje e, biya, wuliya. Baka bedenaja biya wuliya. Okay, so just interchange we go back and forth. Hey, that's it. I think this is the last one. Okay. Do. Do. Do refers to heat. Do. Seto means it's hot. Seto. So fire could be seto. So a cup of coffee could be seto. So uh, the, the weather could be seto. Okay, this do they say this do okay something do or do this do so do is this hot okay and if we say cold we say as well no just the last part is as notice the k the regular k is also cut short the regular k is k, k. but if we shorten it it is so half of a K sound. So we use it here and we say as 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 sick as sick as means cold. Sick as. All right, let's do our sentence. Sado de naje e sick as wolia. Oh, I'll put A in there. You shouldn't have. Don't put A in there. Just say. Okay. All right. So I wanted to go slow because I want to have people get me. So, Clayton, we have about pattern. five minutes. So, whatever pattern I show you today, you're going to use it next lesson, and next lesson, and next lesson. Okay. So, we got five minutes. So, let's go to this last one. Um, Le, le means light. Zole, zole, z sound. Zole, notice how it goes up. Zole, zole. So 
and then, then, then the, the first sound is us. Us. Asle. I wish I had a high tone. Asle. Oh, hi. As. Zole. As. Zole. Asle. Very light. Asle. Yeah. Away. Asle. Yeah. Away. Asle. The baby is really light. Asle. Yeah. In this say cheese. Asle. Yeah. And das. Opposite. Ne. Das. Da uh, is heavy. Da, uh, okay. Asole, 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 asole. Da, let's say the statement. Asole, the day and naja. Da, okay. Let's go the other way. Ne, da, the day and naja. Asole, okay. Asole, okay. Now, you heard. Most of the letters are the same as English. Most of the sounds are the same as English. Every once in a while, there's a kind of a little short sound of the K, the T, and every other song. There's a slash L versus a, a, a regular L. So, so those are just little changes. But we can say most of them.